Welcome to day 12. Today we'll mark halfway through the advent calendar. So, every one of these has a magic booster pack hidden behind. Let's find out what is hiding behind today. Oh, again, we've got a booster that's coming hard to pull out. And we have Ravnica Allegiance. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. You know, I I'm suddenly having that flashback and trying to think this yes the ravnica war block was guilds allegiance then war of the spark i can never quite remember you know the order which way around and which guilds are in which but yeah let's have a look see in here uh things that are great in ravnica allegiance obviously shock lands right off the bat um what else is good i mean hmm Oh, Kaya. Kaya's in this set, isn't she? Uh, no, I'm I'm drawing a bit of a blank here. Uh, but, oh, 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 oh. Smothering Tithe. Oh, that would be a one, and that's a rare. Okay. I went and Googled after yesterday's video and checked MTG Goldfish. Apparently, yesterday's pack opening came out at just about $8.00. Which means it is currently tied with the Ikoria pack. So, we've got two leads there. I'm trying to see, can we find anything else that's cooler or more awesome? Well, we're going to find out today, once again. Welcome to Magic Booster Pack ASMR. And, let's see. Well, I think that code might have expired. Yeah, just a little bit. But, hey, you know, it was cool that Magic was doing that and giving those away. Oh, also, here's the token. Ooze. Okay. Well, let's get started. And we're starting off with a French vanilla. Mammoth Spider, four and a green for a free five reach. Just, you know, classic stuff. Hey, How much flying was there in this set? Well, right when I ask that question, Grasping Frull. Uh, free white black for a free free flyer when it enters the battlefield. Two damage to each opponent and you gain two life. For common, yeah, I remember doing a couple of things with this. Let's see. Consign to the pit. Five and a black for a sorcery. Destroy target creature. Consign to the pit deals two damage to that creature's controller. Common removal is common removal. Common removal that also deals damage is not bad. There were some better kill spells, but you know. Rubble Belt Recluse. Four and a red for a 6-5 Ogre Berserker who attacks each combat if able. Yep. Big Ogre Berserker, boy. Go and do some stuff. Azorius Locket. Free mana for an artifact that taps for a white or a blue. Or Azorius, 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 Azorius. And tap. Sacrifice Azorius Locket to draw two cards. This was kind of stapled into every pre-con for a while. You had the whole cycle of these lockets. I don't think they are remembered well, sadly. But, you know, in these sets, the fixing was appreciated for getting your guilds. And sometimes you just crack them for value. Ooh, Territorial Boar. So, one in a green. We have a 2-2 Boar. Continuing the powers of Boars after yesterday. Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, the Boar gets plus 1 in Vigilance to end turn. Hmm, not half bad. And a quote from Yeva, Nature's Herald. You know, she wasn't actually in a Ravnica block, but wait a minute, was she? I've got the feeling that she wasn't in a Ravnica block, but she was in a commander deck, or was it another way around? Cannot remember for the life of me. Next up, Rubble Reading. Free in a red, sorcery, destroy target land, scry two. Uh, yeah, the four mana land destruction slot in red has never been the greatest one. But 
was there actually, I think, yeah, I think MTG Goldfish actually did a deck in Standard that was based entirely around uh, Standard Ponza land destruction. So this did actually have a play somewhere, and no one can ever take that away from it. Applied by Amancy, green and blue. Choose one or both. Target creature gets plus one till end of turn. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Oh, yeah, this could be a blown out. You know, just go for a trade. Uh, make your creature bigger and get rid of one of their other attackers. Yeah, pretty decent. Watchful Giant, five and a white for a giant soldier. Free six, when it enters the battlefield, make a one one white human token. Eh. Oh, yes, because there was the Toughness Matters in the set. Uh, there was the Azorius Uncommon that let you use Toughness. So this wasn't entirely bad. This had some use from there. Just with the extra body, too. And we have finally seeing one of the themes of the sets. Adapt on Skitterreel, who's free and a blue for a fish crab. Got all of the semic creature types and if this creature has no plus one counters on it put two plus one counters on it so a free free that can become a five five with a little investment there were better adapters but there were also a number of adapt support cards things that would give plus one counter creatures trample flying so this was actually a bit more relevant than it seemed oh cry of the carnarium one black black for a sorcery. All creatures get minus two, minus two till end of turn. Exile all creatures in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Yet yeah, you love to see these kind of many board wipes in black. And it always had a place in people's sideboards usually. So pretty discard. We have a vindictive vampire. Whenever another creature you control dies, the vampire deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. So yeah, he is a little bit bigger than some of his blood artist brothers. But, you know, he does his work. And he did this work not half bad here. We have a forbidding spirit. One white white for a spirit cleric, free free. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays two for each of those creatures. Well, sometimes you just needed to take a turn off and this guy kind of helped. So yeah. And our rare. Cinder Vines. This is also a sideboard card that I think I've seen a good bit. Red and a green for an enchantment. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to that player. Or you can pay one and sacrifice Cinder Vines to destroy target artifact or enchantment and deal two damage to that permanent's controller. Yep, this has been a pretty decent one. I've seen it go about back and forth. I've put it in a couple commander decks. So yeah, it might not be a money card, but it's a pretty sweet little thing as well for tech. So yeah, and the question is, do we have anything hidden behind it? Was this a set where they put shocks in the clan slot? Let's find out. Ah, Azorius Guildgate, it's a no. But yeah, there we go. So that is our pack of Ravnica Allegiance. And that was day number 12. See you all tomorrow.